Emotions ran high last night as President Vicky Punye Puhamba, senior government officials and the family of Dr. Abram Yambu received the remains of the late minister at the Eros airport. The presidential falcon carrying Yambu's body touched down at 8. A coffin procession to and awaiting hers was led by youth and sports minister Jerry Kanju. Earlier in the week, Namba spoke to some of Minister Yambu's peers and this is how they remember him. Your brother is living behind. He's not only known in your family but all, by all of us. We have known him better than any other person except us who started with him. May we all pray together and dedicate his soul into the hands of God. We were selected to come to go and start to, in Cuba. We were told that we must be preparing ourselves for independence Namibia, independent Namibia, and this is what we have been uh, uh, doing. And also, not only himself, but he was also a mentor of others, mentoring them to actually come and play this role of building and constructing a new Namibia, a new society, contributing to the formation of a new man, a new kind of Namibian that is actually going to, to take Namibia to further heights. To us, Comrade Yambo, his departure is too early. Is he, he had a, a great future to accomplish, particularly in the post-independence, in the fishery he did wonder. Everybody knows, not only Namibians, but the world. They know how efficient he was running the fishing industry. In education, he has set up a very strong concrete basis of how to improve the education system in our republic. Yambu will be accorded a state funeral tomorrow at the Pioneers Park Cemetery, while a three-day mourning period, which started yesterday, has been declared.